Listen, uh, I hope you don't find this strange, but... Well, I just arrived here, and I don't know anybody, and... I was thinking of going out to dinner tonight, so... If you're not busy... Would you like to join me? Busy? Honey, I haven't been busy since 1978. <laughs> I learned everything working in this place. Best job I ever had. Yeah, so wait, wait. Your first job in Hollywood was Louis B. Mayer's office boy. Actually, my first job was as a Western Union messenger. That's how I met Mayer. I delivered a telegram to his office at MGM. When I walked in, all the girls in the office were in a tizzy. Their office boy didn't show up. I volunteered for the job, and the next day I was on the payroll. I was 17 years old. <sighs> wow. Was Hollywood really as great back then as I imagined? It was better. <sighs> you know what I've been asking myself all night? What? Why I'm bothering you with all these questions? I'm wondering why a beautiful girl like you would go to a stranger's house for her Christmas vacation. And on top of that, spend Saturday night with an old cogger like me. Oh, I just, you know, wanted to get away from the people I see every day. Well, not all the people. Uh, one person. I wanted to get away from one guy, um, an ex-boyfriend who, he just got engaged and he totally forgot to tell me about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. So he's a schmuck. You know what, he is a, a total schmuck, yeah. How'd you know? He let you go. This is not a hard one to figure out, Iris. In the movies, we have leading ladies, and we have best friends. You, I can tell, are a leading lady. But for some reason, you're behaving like the best friend. You are so right! Oh my god! You're supposed to be the leading lady in your own life, for God's sakes. Arthur, I have been in therapy for three years, and she never explained anything to me so well. That was brilliant. Brutal, but brilliant. Thank you. Oh.